Well, hey there, guys. Welcome back. So, look at what I've got for you today. I've got the old engine out of the 2010 F250. We've got the 6.4 block. I've got a lot of inquiries about this block here and the condition of the block. The block overall, I mean, the block itself is in really, really good condition. There's nothing wrong with the block. There's no holes. There's no nothing like that. I mean, you can obviously see the block is perfect itself. Um, but we'll get into the damage that I did find here in a second. But, you know, for anybody watching this video and wanting this engine, you know, this is what um, we've got and this is what I found, okay? So if we look at these back cylinders here, you can hear that clunking noise. Nothing wrong with those, okay? Same thing with these right there, nothing wrong, okay? But we come to cylinder uh, three and four right here. These are three and four. You can definitely tell that obviously, you know, the bearing spun, and obviously this is what is left of the initial bearing right here, okay? So obviously the bearing is completely gone. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check, you know, one and two right there. I gotta pull those caps, I wanna check those caps and make sure that those aren't spun either but um you know looking at this engine here this engine here is going to at least need a minimum of you know the, the crank's going to need to be turned and polished and we're going to have to put oversized bearings in this but i think with these right here um i would feel i would feel safe replacing those rods with a good set of used rods out of a you know out of a a junk engine once we do that i think the engine the bottom half of this engine will be okay so moving on here to the bearing caps, the rod bearing caps, okay? So looking at this bearing cap here, this is from cylinder one and this is from cylinder two, okay? The first thing that I notice here right off the bat is I notice that obviously we've got some black marks, okay? And that is obviously due to lack of oil pressure, okay? And what happens is obviously this, is, this would have been our cause a lot, this would have caused our lack of oil pressure, okay? Because obviously when you're not able to maintain the proper bearing clearance in an engine, what happens is your oil pressure drops, okay? And so with the rod bearing spinning like that, what would have happened is if we continue to run the engine like this, the engine obviously would have pr pretty much, the rest of the engine would have looked like these bearing caps right here if you continued to run it you know, you can see these right here were obviously in the beginning the stages of spinning. So it wouldn't have been that much longer. You know, the good thing is the engine kind of went boom when it did. And that's where we're at with it. But other than that, the engine doesn't look bad. Um, you know, what I did notice about this bearing cap here is obviously, you know, this bolt was actually loose when I took the thing apart. This is from cylinder uh, 3. And I noticed that this bolt was backed out, and it was backed out probably like a maybe an eighth of an inch. And I did notice that right off the bat. This other one was roughly around 50 foot pounds of torque, like it should be. Um, but obviously, I don't know what would have caused this to what would have caused that bolt to back out. Um, and that could have started the issue with the engine right here. You know, I don't know. Maybe maybe the guy was running at at you know, some very high RPMs. I don't know. But as you can see, this bolt, you can't turn it in the bore. These you can turn just fine, okay? So um, let's go ahead and move on to the engine itself. But that's where I'm going to leave this one, guys. I really appreciate you guys joining me here today. If you like these type of videos, please smash that like button and stay tuned here. We've got that Altima here. That is, that's next on my list of things to do. So, yeah, um, I really appreciate everybody. Please smash that like button. We'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.